Evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another installment of Beer Time. I'm your host, Ferris, and we've got a new one here, ladies and gentlemen, something I've never tried before, something I've never even heard of before today. Now, uh, like everybody else, I was watching the uh, recent atrocities unfold in Paris. Uh, my heart goes out to the victims, especially to the members of the GIGN. The French gendarmes who are definitely working around the clock to at least bring perpetrators to justice and rescue the hostages. So I went out with in my mind to find a French beer just to kind of sim do my... Well, I can't really do much. It's a huge thing of arrogance to say that this is actually accomplishing anything. But I want to give you an idea, guys, an idea where I came from. I went out with the idea to find a French beer... And do my and at least raise a glass for everything. And I found one. This is Belzebuth from the Brasserie Grand Dorge, which, according to the bottle cap, has been around since 1898. So, basic math will tell us that's been about 118 years. Odds are they know what they're doing. Uh, now, I'd never heard of this uh, here in the states. There's quite a few good French beers, I'm absolutely sure. Pretty much everyone's got decent beer. Um, never heard of this one before. So this is kind of interesting. Just a couple of things here. I'm kind of digging the bottle. Uh, I like the art on that. That's pretty nifty. Um, now, this looks kind of small, and you're right. This bottle's only 8.4 ounces. What is interesting, you might notice the big 13 right up here on the label. That's because... This little blonde ale, according to the labeling, is 13% ABV. That should be interesting. So, without any further ado, let's give it a shot. Wow, okay. So you can definitely get a lot of yeast aromas off of that there, which they probably had to have something really hot rotted there to get something out of that. I'm guessing maybe a modified champagne yeast. Who knows? Now this is kind of new to me here as well too because typically most of the real high ABVs, well now you, you get some of the hot rotted like double IPAs or something there, but the color on that's actually pretty good. Uh, the light's kind of terrible here, but good kind of dark golden Auburn color to it. The head is persisting pretty well. Nice floral aroma to that. Definitely very yeasty. Um, as a note, tip in my experience, most beers that would be like this, you'd have them served, especially some of the Belgian beers, which we'll get to later on, uh, would be served in something along the lines of like a chalice. Think like uh, the Holy Grail, almost, from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, this is about the closest thing I have to that, just in terms of shape. Um, some other people might ding me for having the different type of glasses, the Nonic Pints, the Schooners, what have you. I'm not really going to get into that for the most part. Um, we're just going to focus on some of the other things. So, nothing to it but to try it. Salut! That is, you've heard me say that is good a lot, and it is, but it is also interesting. Um, very, very yeasty notes on that, which is to be expected. You do get a lot of the aromatics on that, and to get something up to a, over 10%, you really need to do... A lot of fermentation for it uh, and that's to be expected um, not overpowering though if I'm gonna try to place it very caramelly almost not quite buttery nutty it's a good beer uh, absolutely fantastic um, doesn't taste like something that's 13%, so um, watch out. If 
you're drinking that. The small size should clue you in that this is a little pocket rocket here. Um, that is good, though. Um, I'm liking that. Definitely something interesting. Um, now, when we're talking about availability and price and all that, uh, that's where you'll probably run into a bit of a hurdle. Um, out here in California, I managed to find this at... My, my go-to for kind of the weird, unusual stuff right now is beverages and more. I do have a few other places that I do try to go to for everything. But so far, they're one of the better things for variety and all that. I'm not... You know, your mileage may vary. I know in Texas, you got places like Specs. They're real good. Um, just depends on what distributors you have. Um, this was the, this is the only place I've found it uh, at Bevmo. I've never heard of it before today, as I mentioned. Um, they didn't even not even sold as a six pack. This was an individual bottle. Ran me about four fifty. So depend not your everyday drinking beer, obviously. Um, special occasions if you really want to dust something off. Uh, you might even think of this as a holiday present or a birthday present for that beer drinker in your life. Something to really get them excited about. Or if you're like me and collect beer bottles, that's another good thing to have as well, too. Um, even then, I'm not going to ding them too much on the quantity of that. Um, by most standards, 8.4 is kind of a small beer. But by the same token... Um, this is almost three times the ABV of most domestic beers. Um, that is definitely worth mentioning. Um, I will say uh, that they do stand by, on the back of the label here, they've got this for all sorts of international stuff, because you've got here California resale value. I doubt most French breweries will care about California redemption value, um, or put it in English. But the label on the back here labels Belzebuth as the most unique ale in the world. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true, but I'd certainly say top ten. I have another taste of that. Yeah, that stays with you for a good while. It's a great beer. Um, again, there's no such thing as a bad beer. Very yeasty, kind of a nutty yeasty note. The malts are good, kind of about what you'd expect, kind of a toasty, not quite toasty. Almost creamy, very creamy for the malt with nutty overtones there. Definitely unique. Uh, would I go for it again? Would I drink it again? Absolutely. Um, certainly not an everyday thing. Um, for where we're at out here, um, be more of a thing to kind of bring to as an event or just to kind of show off something. Um, I'm definitely enjoying it. For those of you in Europe, UK, that sort of thing, uh, this is also a fun one to get. I don't know about the commonality or how easy it is to get out here or even exchange rates, so um, your mileage may vary, as I have said before. Otherwise, though, hands down, that is, I will back them up on that, that is one of the most unique ales in the world. Until then, stay safe, drink responsibly, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm going to be doing these pretty regularly from now on. Um, salut, vive la France!